Alright y'all, so they finna race. I know y'all remember this Pro Charge Mustang right there. Man, as y'all can see, got a GT500 in the back. Let's see some hype on this GT500. Okay, so what's down to this is intake, exhaust. I uh, went with a smaller upper pulley, bigger injectors, and colder spark plugs. And so that's all I've done to it for right now. And that's put me at like at 780 on wheel horsepower. Yeah. And so I plan to do a couple more things to get the horsepower a little bit higher. I want to be around 8. 100 to mid 800 to 8. So that's what I want to stay at. About 800 to 850. Leave it at that. Got a couple friends got 1,000 horsepower. <laughs> and they, I, I rode them. Those are rough, man. <laughs> they hit hard. They they hit hard. Yep. The rain tray, I just took it out. So that allows all the dirt to get in there. But your rain tray, you take it out so you can let that uh, the wind blow through and get some of that heat because these superchargers get kind of hot. So yeah. Uh, that's what I want to do is get a bigger intercooler brick. It's actually called an intercooler brick. It sits under here and that's where your coolant flows through. And when I get a bigger one, it's going to allow it to stay cooler, that cooler air to blow across it because it's going to cool it down. So I get the bigger one that also will allow me to get more horsepower too. So like I said, a couple more things that I'll be at my, where I want to go. Yeah. And I'm staying there. I'm not going any higher. Like, so you, you keep get to like a thousand, a, yeah. You get keep, to a thousand, you're that, that's a lot of power. Yeah, so keep it daily and years. stuff. Yeah. yeah, some of my friends are keeping it in the garage. And yeah, I'm in mine every day. <laughs> I pay for it every day, so I'm gonna drive yeah. it every day. By when you had got it, so I've had this for two years. Two years. So this is, this is a 2020. So I got it in uh, two years ago. So, or yeah, almost two years ago. Yeah. So I've been enjoying it. So I don't let it sit. I see them in different groups. Yeah. And guys got. They bring them out on a weekend and they might have a 2020 with 5,000 miles on it. I'm like, man, I'm driving mine. I <laughs> yeah. I don't care about my house. I'm driving. <laughs> I bought it to drive. Make every mile a smile. Yeah. 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 The green belt, they can't stop? No, it comes with oh, a black belt. But oh. uh, when I went to the smaller pulley, I had to get a smaller yeah. belt and then I got the adjustable idler. So the adjustable idler just helped put more tension on the belt to stop it. But even with that on there, I'm getting belt slippage. Yeah. So. When I go to, that's a 2.8 pulley. When I go to a 2.7 pulley, I got, I'm gonna have to change belt again. And uh, hopefully it's tight enough that I don't get that much slip. So, and then I'm also, because I don't like the way that SPE uh, adjustable idler sound, it gives like a whistling noise. So people think I'm pro charged. You got a pro yeah. charger or ESS versus just a supercharger. And uh, I don't like that sound. So people, even last night when I was riding through, people like, we thought it had a pro charger on I was like, nah. Yeah, I heard it. It definitely sounds like a pro charge. Yeah. You see all the. That black stuff yeah. off from the belt slipping. That's how I can tell because it needs to the belt a little bit. Yeah. So when it does that, you know, you're forcing a little bit of power because it's not holding like it's supposed to. So, like, I had a race the other day, or last week, and I think it's about the second race to start slipping. Yeah. That just didn't feel like it hit as hard. Yeah. 
And that's basically, you have a clutch for your odd gears and your clutch for your even gears. Yeah. So when I say these these gears shift so fast, and they shift so fast, it's hard to feel the jerk. Even on, like saying normal driving, it rev matches because it has, I know if you ever drove a manual stick. No, I ain't never drove. Well, I've, been, I've been in one, but you Normally, like I said, if you're going from like third to second, yeah. you got to do a rev match. You got to flip the RPM and then drop down to second. That yeah. way, the the clutch and everything can catch up. Well, this does it automatically, yeah. so you can hear rev match. So when I'm like if I'm coming through a stoplight, you hear boom, boom, and you see RPM. Yeah. The same what you would do in a manual. So with the, having two clutches on there, uh, that's what it has to do to order for them to match up. Yeah. Six speed. So that's and the. Uh, like I said, the gear change is quick. When you ride it, you're gonna hear it and you're gonna feel it most yeah. of the time. So it, it's something different. Uh, these cars are different, man. They're just different. So it, a lot of cars I could have went cheaper and did the bolt on. But, yeah. And put superchargers on my other cars. I had the GT350 before this one. Yeah. And then I thought about supercharging it, but I just said forget it. Just, I'm gonna go ahead and buy a car that's already got a supercharger. Yeah. So I was looking at this in a ZL1. I narrowed it down to just went ahead with the 500. I was like, I'm, I'm already in the Ford. I like them. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. I love the ZL1s too. So there's nothing wrong with it. So I just went ahead and went to the 500. Yeah, like they, 500, they're way more rare too. You yes. really don't see yes. them around. Because so people were saying that they haven't seen one up here. No. Like some people last night, they said they haven't seen one up here. I don't know if it's yeah. one Emirati. I only you know seen one, but it's um it's the gym below this one though. Okay, got yeah, it. It's yeah. like a real one. Okay. That's the only one I've seen down here. The S197. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got a few of them down there on Coast around now. Yeah. A few of them. It's not many, but most of the people I know are either in Alabama or, or Louisiana. Like yeah. yeah. I know more people in those states than down in Mississippi. It's like, before I went and got it, before I made my decision, there was a guy, I don't even know if he still has it, but a buddy of mine was like, hey, if you're having some doubts about it, uh, I got a buddy in Mississippi. Bro. And uh, so I actually got in touch with the guy, he let me ride with him first. Because I was thinking maybe that's just too much. But it's, it's real subtle until you get, once you understand, I didn't know much about boots and cars, so once I learned about boots and cars, if you're not in boots, it's just like a regular car. So I was a little hesitant, I was like, man, that's a lot of power, da da da. But then once I actually understood it and I rode around with it in it, I was like, oh man, it's just like everyday driving. Yeah. He hit it, I was like, oh, okay, that sold me. Yeah. That 100% sold me when he got into yeah. it. I was like, so this is it. He's like, yeah, I was like, wow. So I went and got one. I, that narrow, helped me narrow my decision down. Yeah. I went and got that because they are a little faster than a ZL1 stock. With yeah. the more power, I'd say. So when I ordered this one, the guy already had the uh, boiler exhaust and the intake on it, man, too. So it was already pretty quick. Yeah. And then I added more to it, so it's a little bit quicker now. So I can get out and have fun in your car, man. It's, That's all it is, too? Yes. Yeah. All right, y'all, so they finna race. I know y'all remember the Pro Charge Mustang right here. If y'all want to see the race, you go tune in to his channel. Turn your channel again. Uh, Grady Boy 5.0, G-R-A-D-Y-B-O-I 5.0. So y'all want to see that race, man, go tune in to his channel. All right. by trade I went yeah. to I actually went to MCC and decided I didn't want to do none of that stuff so my dad asked me to move now I ended up moving to the coast is my dad asked me did I want to get an apprenticeship at the shipyard yeah. so I started there and I went through electrical if you decide to do a trade in life you're going to you're going to school right now yeah I am I'm Are, going on MCC for graphic design okay have you ever decided to get a trade go electrical yeah. I promise you it's the it's the easiest uh, and it's the most beneficial in the long run because yeah. what happened in the oil field is they decide to with the politics of going green so they went from diesel fleets to electric fleets so what I do all day is I run a gas turbine and it's because of my electrical experience that 
I got the job because turbines create electricity. It's just like what you have at the power company is turbines in it. So that's why all electricity it spins a generator. That generator creates electricity and that's what causes it. So everything powered up, the lights, your house, it's, they got different turbines at the power company. But also for the oil field, for fracking, they decided to go electric. So that's how I got the job. So my job is operation and maintenance. So mainly the turbine running. Yeah. I sit in a room and look at a computer screen all day <laughs> and just make sure yeah. the readings are reading right. Your temperatures, your gas pressure, yeah. your voltage is right. And I've got things I do. And I literally sit in a room for 12 hours. So I sleep, <laughs> watch yeah. movies. Most guys like most guys bring their computers, their laptops, and play video games. Yeah. So my job is real easy, but it's because of my experience in electrical that I got there. So if you ever decide to go do a craft, don't do welding, don't do sheet metal, uh, don't be a mechanic. Yeah. Go electrical. I promise you, it's, it's beneficial because electrical is needed all over the world. So yeah. jobs are all over the world for electrical. I haven't worked hard in probably 10 years. Mm. Like, I, my job's just been easy because yeah. of advancing in electrical. So, like I said, if, I try to preach it to young people, man. I've had yeah. people, and I'm telling you, like, you guys are looking at it wrong. You're thinking you're going to be slaving, and you're not. Yeah. You're just, the only thing, if you're working in the shipyards, it might be hot, the heat in the shipyard, because you're working on a ship that has no AC on. But you can take the brakes and all that stuff. Yeah. And, once you get to a ship that's farther along, AC's on, so you're just sitting around. And then if you're in cool areas working, and like it is, you get gravy. So I changed it to track mode. It'll sound good. So it, see how it sounds different? Yeah. Sounds cleaner.
my car don't feel no faster. I was thinking, man, either the tune is not what it says it is. So I'm going literally going from like 700, around 700 to 779, yeah. 780. I'm like, man, it don't feel no faster. But I didn't realize I was spinning harder. Yeah. It wasn't, I wasn't spinning longer, I was just spinning more. And so I was like, okay. So when I got the tires, and when I say I hit it and it felt just like that, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I said, it's the tires, it had nothing to do with the car. It's 100% the tires. No, no tire make a difference. Like yeah, that, that yeah. much of a difference. I didn't know it. I, I always knew that, because I've always raised people with drag packs. Yeah. And with them having drag packs, I know they're designed to get out there fast because that drag pack hooks, but I didn't know it was that big of a difference. Yeah. And when I got these tires, like I said, it, you know, I was like, that's the difference. That is 100% the difference. That was what I was doing before I was in the fast car. Yeah. That's why I always had a truck, because I was in the motorcycles. And uh, we was racing down, and the lady called on us. Luckily, we weren't racing when the police finally caught up to us. Yeah. But we had just got finished racing. And they fucking God, they can't do nothing if they don't catch you in action. Uh-uh, they can't. Yeah. You got a social media you want to shut up? Uh, Black Adam GT500. BLK gotcha. GT500. That's it. Okay, Adam. I'll take a picture of my phone. Y'all want to see some footage on his comment? Make sure I go to the Instagram. Right. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, we gotta make an upgrade on some soon. Leave the VC. <laughs> Cause they're right there. It seems like I get woke up more every video for some more and more motivation, man. But hope y'all enjoyed the video, man. And yeah.